Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, it is wonderful to have you on board. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me or want to know anything about me, you can check underneath in the box below or you can go over to my Facebook page, like my Facebook page and keep updated on information. I'm now on TikTok. I've been loving TikTok. It's my new favourite toy. Um, remember though that this is general. It's a general reading. It will not appeal to everybody. Um, it will not be your story at times. And that means, you know, checking out other aspects of your natal chart. Or alternatively, finding another reader. I can tell you now, I do a lot of readings. They don't always resonate with me, that's for sure. All right. But if the reading does resonate, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We have the devil energy coming out for you today. Hmm. I actually really like the Devil card, but then I like the Tower card too. There's very few cards that I don't really find scary or difficult. I feel like all the cards are here to teach us how to do things differently. The Devil card talks of extremes. It can talk of too much, taking things too far. That's its general energy. This is ego energy. This is about being stuck in an ego or a way of thinking. Can be overthinking, that's too much thinking. It can also be codependency, that's too much loving others more than yourself. It can be addiction, too much of something. Addiction to anything, substance-wise or mentally. It can be about lust, obsession, anything that's taken to extremes. But it's all about the ego energy. It's about your the way you think, the way you do things in your 3D world. So it could be talking about even something like, you know, large amounts of stress, too much sadness it can take you into any of the too much energies and the universe here is strongly saying this needs to be brought back into balance here there's some imbalance all right so we have the strength card this is really nice okay so there is something here that you've become aware of that is not been doing you any good or it's been working against you here you could be dealing with a Capricorn, so we'll leave that to one side. The devil energy could mean here that you have recognized something within yourself about your own ego or your own way of doing things. Because with the strength card, it means very often that you are doing some sort of shadow work, some sort of work here to bring yourself into total fulfillment. So there's a recognition here that there's a glitch in the matrix. And I feel like you're addressing that here. You could also have Leo energy around you as well. All right, so we have the page of coins coming through with the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay. There is some energy here. This could be materialism too materialism stuck in your material energy something is changing for you here something is really changing because you're cutting something out you're moving forward you have clarity here there could be a rebirth this could be changing for you here but there is some sort of realization here with this page of coins the page of coins always to me is something to do with karma. It's something to do with a gift being given. Somebody may be helping you on your pathway to recognize something about yourself here that you need to work on. Very often, for me, this just means there's some sort of intervention here. Now, the pages are messengers. 
And what I feel like sometimes is this may be inadvertent. Inadvertent? There is a little angel up here. So this may be more of a message coming from the universe rather than coming in a physical form. There may be something here that is helping you to see something differently. It could be that someone's giving you a message or you overhear a conversation or even that somebody says something that resonates with you. There is something to do with a secret here. Something to do with a secret being held on to. I feel that you are cutting something out. Wow, okay. Something has been creating a lot of conflict for you. You may be dealing with a Leo, Sag or Air. No, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Because there's conflict. But somehow I feel like, yeah, look at this. The conflict here has been going, has been cycling for a while. Wow, I see where we're going now. End of a cycle. Okay, let's work backwards. Because this is past energy coming through here. Could be father energy. Could be something to do with a father figure. Or a wife or a husband, a partner. There is something from your past here that is creating a great deal of negative energy. And it needs to be finished out here. There is some loyalty that you're displacing here. I feel like this is something you've been cycling for a very long time. And there is a lot of hidden emotion, hidden anger. This is what you're keeping secret. So it may not be secret as in keeping something away from someone like a surprise birthday party. Not that sort of secret. This is a secret that you are hiding away from the world. This is your emotions here. You have suppressed or oppressed emotion here. Something to do with maybe a father figure or a partner. Something you've been going through over and over again here. There is conflict and it needs to go. But you could be dealing with an air sign. There is something coming to light here. This is a tower moment here. And I feel like you're realizing now your part here and how you're playing a part in this. So there is something being shown to you, I feel, by the universe. And perhaps you haven't seen it that way before, or perhaps it's giving you a different way of working at it, but you're moving toward healing something here that has been very difficult in your life. All right, let's see where we're going. Queen of Wands coming through. So we do have Leo, Sag or Aries here. The Queen of Wands is a beautiful character. She is very much a leader. She's very attractive. She has a lot of sex appeal. But there's something very powerful about this energy. All right, so I have the Ace of Pentacles coming through. So there is this new start coming through here quite possibly with a fire sign something is changing here wow four of cups oh wow four of coins you're letting something go from your past here in order to move forward you want a new start here here you are with this pentacle again there is something being given to you or offered to you that's putting you on a different a different wavelength and I feel like there's been this dissatisfaction in your life up until this is brought to your attention this is a poke in the back from spirit all right let me just keep going here all right something to do with your destiny there is a choice that needs to be made here and balance that needs to be brought in. Wow. You're in, you're out of balance here completely. You're in self-denial. Your emotions are being suppressed and you're not really bringing yourself into this energy here of who you are, your true essence. 
And I feel really strongly with the Four of Cups and the Four of Coins here that you're holding on to something that you need to let go. But I feel this is very much about internal energy and I feel it's something to do with your emotions. This is really, really deep stuff here. The Moon card does represent Cancer as well. But there's something that's totally out of balance here. Because you're not, you're not moving toward, you're not in this energy here to move toward your destiny. You're stuck. You're stuck in this devil energy. So you're either stuck in a situation or stuck in a mindset or some sort of addictive behavior. Could be codependency as well. But you're seeing it now. You're seeing something. Something's changing here. Let me just keep going. Four of swords. You have three fours here. Three fours. Something is totally out of balance here and needs bringing back back in. Okay, so we have the king and the queen of wands here. So we have some sort of union or some sort of connection here with the six of coins that you're not building towards. Oh, I've got a dizzy head then. My head went all funny. There is something here you're not working on that you need to work on to further yourself. You're, you're not... You're not moving towards your hopes, your wishes. You're not healing yourself. You're not opening yourself up to something here. It's like you've closed yourself down to something. It's got something to do with your emotional self. All right, let me just go through this again. I want to dig deeper. All right, so we have the devil energy. So something here is holding you back. But I feel like you're being called to work on something here with the strength card. I feel that the universe is going to get you a message through and it's going to help you cut through something. Could be something to do with a relationship with a, an air sign. But there's this conflict that's sitting around this, this buried emotion, something being in turmoil here. And I feel like you've been circling it for a very long time, but not closing out this cycle here. Something to do with loyalty with that dog. There's something from your past here that needs to be addressed here. And with the King of Coins, it's either a partner or a parent energy coming through. Some sort of healing around a past, past occurrence, energy, emotion, something you're holding within you that you're not allowing to go. And because you're holding on to this, you're either working your way through codependent energies with maybe a partner or um, a family member. That you need to clear through because you're you need balance and your life is very out of balance here out of balance here there is a holding on to something here that you are not letting go of and the universe is saying we cannot let you move forward here until you've got through this energy there's a choice here you have to make a decision that you have to make I feel like for some of you here, it's something to do with a union. But there's no balance here. Six of Pentacles, Temperance energy, and all these fours. Everything is out of balance. And it's got something to do with your emotions. Not releasing your emotions, not dealing with your emotions. Maybe not dealing with past energies. Wounding, possibly. Four of Swords is a card of healing too. So there's a lot of energy of not healing, making a choice to heal. But I feel like you're understanding that now with that devil energy. All right. Oh, that was a funny split. Let's see what we've got. All right. So we've got the King of Swords coming with the Three of Swords, Page of Coins again, Queen of Swords. For some of you, this is about divorce. For some of you, this is about divorce. There's some sort of decision you have to make around some union that you're in that's creating a lot of pain for you and it's you're not emotionally dealing with this because you've bottled up your emotions for a really long time. So the universe is trying to get you to see something to help you move forward here. 
and I feel like it's showing you your own pain. I feel this is the energy coming through with this gift. You're somehow seeing into your own pain here. And I feel like you've ignored that for a really long time with that devil energy. You may have closed yourself down so you can't feel the pain anymore. You may have an addiction. You may be drinking too much or using something to hold back this emotion so you do not have to express it or you don't have to feel it. There's a numbing here. But I feel like you're somehow being given an opportunity to see how to heal. Oops. Oh, sorry, Cancer. I dropped you on the floor. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's pull an energy hook to cook. That was a pretty tough reading, Cancer. You'll have to let me know what's going on with you there. All right. Oh, that one wants to come out. Yeah, I thought so. We have the daughter romance flipping out on you there. Something you're holding yourself back on. And it's something to do with suppressing your own happiness here. So you may be in a negative situation that you're finding yourself, you can't free from. But because you can't free yourself from it, you're suppressing yourself. This is about new beginnings in love. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship you're in, this door with the heart opens onto a new beginning in your experience. A new love may be arriving and you may be being brought together by a strong resonant connection. Yeah, especially with the king and queen of wands here. Um, this may be a call from a past life. or it may, There you go, that's what the page of pentacles is doing. You're getting a call from a past life. Or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into heartfelt affection. This relationship already exists in energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you're projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open the door. Are you? All right. Nice reading, Cancer. Thank you.